Yo, what up, guys? I think we're just going to start and do the intro, so... All right, count it down with us, audience, in three, two, one, go! All right. Welcome to Super Metroid. That's the first room in the game right there, GG. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Gebu. Uh, I've been running this game for like four years at this point and handle for about two years. Uh, this is a category like I've been putting a lot of time into the past few years, so it's very fun. Uh, with me I have my, my co-commentators. Uh, Dice, you want to go first? What's up, ESA? Yo, what's up? Yeah. We're just right waiting for Ridley here. Yeah. And you just want to damage down as fast as possible here, because it's just a scripted cutscene that ends when you're below 30 HP. Okay. That was, that was very weird. Ridley almost killed me. <laughs> <laughs> that would have nev never <laughs> happened before. <laughs> Just one minute in. I don't know. <laughs> All right. As said, this is series station. Um, I don't know. We don't like it as runners in general. Yeah, reset station. Yeah, lots of steam or RNG here. Oh. There's no RNG. That was an uh, invisible tile right there. I was going yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. good. Very good. That's fine. Right. Nice 45 series escape. Thanks. Right. So, as we're seeing the beautiful side of series explode, one of the best moments in the game, obviously, because everybody hates series. Uh, Samus is about to make her way to the planet Zeebs, where the rest of the game will take place, obviously. And I think it's good to start with one thing that this, this run. It has a lot of room to that, it has a lot of tech, and it's uh, pretty impossible for us to point out everything. So we'll try to point out some things here and there, um, but it will be going so fast that it will be impossible to highlight every room. Yeah. But that being said, um, like I was said, it's a 100% run. We collect all the items. And apart from all the tricks that you can do in Super Metroid, which saves a lot of time, it's actually a really cool game because movement is really, really important. Why? Uh, during the whole run, Gabo will visit 372 rooms. So imagine saving or losing five frames on average each room. That actually totals up to 31 seconds, which is a lot of time, especially for a runner like Gabu in the, the top levels of the Super Metroid community. 31 seconds is an insane amount uh, of time. So here we saw something which is called a moonfall. And maybe Mer can tell us something about it. Yeah, so there's a special setting in the game where you can enable moonwalk. And we found out a couple of years ago that if you moonwalk right uh, before you uh, jump down uh, like a vertical room and a fall, you uncap your like fall speed. So you can like technically accelerate to infinite amounts of speed falling. So yeah. it saves a lot of time. And this is one of the techniques you will see Gebo use in all the kind of vertical stretches of long space within the room. So we'll actually make it go faster. So we just saw Seb, uh, Gebu uh, collect the first item in the game, which obviously was the Morph Ball, which allows Samus to well, become a Morph uh, a Ball and go into small tunnels. We just collected the first Missile Pack of the game, and this actually activates the planet. So, so going back up where we came, nice construction zone. Very good. Yeah, I'll try to uh, I'll try to commentate a bit myself, but this this game is very very hard to play while yeah. talking. So this game is very hard to play even when not talking. To yeah. be honest, so <laughs> our first enemy is coming up here. Spoiler alert! Oh. That's fine. All right, entering the room we know as climb. See Gebu perform some nice tight wild jumps on the right side. Shooting par some pirates as we go along. There we go. Really nice climb. I think I got the wall jump there actually. Oh, nice. nice. Re really nice. Cool. All right. So coming up uh, in a few rooms is the first mini boss of the game, which is called Bomb Torizo.
Nice, nice. 446 Bob sign. Really good. Yep. Let's go. Be our best. <laughs> 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 Alright, so first mini boss of the game. Uh, Bomb Torizo. Um, and when we start to fight, you have noticed Gebu taking a certain specific pixel on screen, which allows him to actually stun lock BT into place and to the right side of the room. So we would just stand there, tank some shots, and it will make short work of oh, BT. Wow. Oh, bad. <laughs> I got really, no really bad no RNG. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlucky drops. Not much you can do about that. That's fine. That's the rare. We got, we got him down, that's all that matters. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> right. All right. That's full. Right, so now the game actually begins. Most resets happen before Bomb Teresa in this game. Yeah, pretty much. Lots of runs are just... You just see the first, like, five minutes. Yeah. Over and over again. Yep. Watch any stream of Super Metro, that's usually how it goes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. Alright. So in the meantime, we'll, uh, we'll be uh, taking our um, tour to uh, Green, Green Brimstar, and that's actually where the first major sequence break of the game will take place. Yeah, and we're going to utilize something called a Mock Palm, which is basically, it preserves your momentum from dashing into mo Morph Ball, and uh, yeah, that's a very key technique in all of this speedrun. Also, get your Dino Dances and Cat Jams into chat, guys. For the best music in the game, <laughs> obviously. Uh, Let's go, chat. Disagree. <laughs> All right, so this was the Mark Ball uh, Merc uh, just mentioned. And it allows Gabu to uh, roll on in ball form under the gates that just dropped. And if he didn't do the Mark Ball, he couldn't actually get, get past the gates. So this allows him to collect the super missiles, which normally in the casual run, you would get way later. Yeah, we had to kill Spore Spawn, and we usually don't like to visit Spore Spawn at all. Yeah. I think it's like a five to six minute time save to get that knock ball and those supers. So it's very important for the run. Yeah. Pretty hard uh, knock ball to coming up right here. Yeah. Let's just wait for Gebu to do this. Pretty hard trick. Nice. Yeah, really nice, really nice. All right. Yeah. In the meantime, do we have any donations? Uh, we do indeed. I've got six, so stop me if we uh, get, need to get back to it. But we have five dollars from Behelmuth. It says from Behelmuth. Good luck, Gebs. My pet vulture sends you a hug for save the animals. <laughs> uh, Aniv has donated twenty-five dollars, saying always a blast to watch Super Metroid runs. Keep it up, Gebu. This goes towards save the animals. Uh, Galen has donated $15. Thank you very much. Um, the comment reads, Unfortunately, I couldn't manage to appear in person to support you, but I wish you good luck for your run, Gebu. Yeah, also, thanks. shout outs to Galen. Shout outs. Yep. Also, shout outs to my speedrunning colleagues and friends on the couch, Dyson Merklig. You guys rock. And don't forget, Gebu, kill the animals. Do it. Time for more? Uh, yeah, go yep. yeah, uh, Ten dollars from Hyperwork saying, "I'm doing my part, just as Dear Force intended." Hi, Merc. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hyper. Thanks. And we have fifty dollars from Moxway saying, "I had to donate during this amazing run. Let's hope for a fast, fast fan tune, and of course, save the frames, kill the animals." So I don't need to tell you what that's going for. As a quick update on the bidding war. Kill the Animals is currently in the lead. It was a bit neck and neck, but Kill's pulled ahead. It's 265 to kill, 192 and change for save. All right. Now we're going after the Cephi Beam, also known as Spacer. What do you think of that beam, Gebu? It's all right. <laughs> yeah. I don't really have any... I have no opinion about it. Strong feelings towards yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not a big deal because we won't have space for Ridley here, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right. If this is any percent, I, I would hate Spacer a lot. Same. Thankfully, we got lots of for that fight. <laughs> yeah. All 
So we're heading to Kraid right now. The first boss, the actual first boss of the game. That's required to kill to complete the game. We're actually about to see a really cool strat here entering Kraid's Lair. Fish supers into a run, into a spin jump. Awesome. Nice trick. Little tidy op optimization right there. Walk all through the tunnel. Yeah. Cool. My health is actually a bit scary right here, but yeah. it's fine. It'll be fine. Actually, okay, of course I get no help from those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened before. Oh, you're good. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Right, so about to enter the uh, first boss fight in the run. And we can actually, there's a trick called the quick kill. And uh, maybe Merc can explain how it works. Yeah, so you need to time two missiles to open his mouth and then time a super, uh, uh, like a specific mouth animation. And that allows, it locks his mouth like that. And that's it, nice, yeah. really nice. That's great done. So if you were to miss this, Crate would actually stand up and the fight would take like 15 to 20 seconds yeah. longer. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 huge time save. We got the Bob the Rizzo DLC, but not the Crate <laughs> DLC, thankfully. <laughs> As Galing is pointing out in chat, no Crate DLC. Yeah, yeah, that's the most important part. Right. Do a charge on that guy to uh, save a missile there. Yeah. Usually it's not a problem, uh, the missile count, but sometimes in wrecked ship it can be yeah. possible to run out. Oh, the beeping sound. The beeping sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's every Super Metroid runner's worst nightmare, right? Getting health pumped? No, just the beeping sound. <laughs> anyway. Unless you're Zenyan running RBO, right? <laughs> Alright. Alright. Cool. Round to Upper Norfair. Upper yeah. Norfair. So last time this uh, category was ran at ESA, they actually did a different route than Gebby is doing right now, which was called Early Croc. And that route goes down all the way to Crocomire in this section. And yeah, there's a, like a... We're, Geber's gonna go there later. This uh, this route is called Late Crocomire, and you'll see why he goes there uh, later. Simply, why he saves it. Yeah, both routes are uh, very similar time-wise. Yeah. So usually it's up to preference for the runner. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, the up and north air part of the game is uh, sometimes referred to as the hardest part of the game, which doesn't really kill you because there's, it's not really dangerous, but there's so many places where you can just bleed time all over the place with small mistakes and stuff. Like I mentioned before, losing five frames in a set of rooms, it all adds up, you know, so. Yeah, there's, in this category, there's a lot of places to save time, but also a lot of places to lose time. Yeah. yeah. We could take a few donations here, I think. Great. Um, thank you very much for all of your donations. They are swamping in, and it's brilliant. Um, PS Stu has donated $15, saying, What an amazing event and such a good cause. Save the frames. Uh, Normac has donated $50, saying, Hello, guys. Good luck, Gebu. And here is a donation to turn those animals into Zerschrumung. Awesome. So... Uh, yeah, not awesome. not just uh, not not just not just kill them, but just also make them illegal to be opened in most uh, indoor public areas. Um, <laughs> Breaker has donated twenty five dollars. Let's save the yes animals. Great event! Thank you all for this hard work and for all these amazing runs. Good luck, Gebu. Uh, we have a twenty dollar donation from Jack Olief, uh who says, "Hello, Gobbo. Just wanted to wish you good luck. We're all counting on you." Thanks, man. <laughs> Time for two more? Cool. Yeah. Uh, we have an anonymous $5 donation that is for Save the Animals. Uh, so thank you very much. Let's uh, close the gap slightly. And uh, who is this has donated $5 saying, Super excited for Super Metroid. Let's go and save those animals. 
And uh, as a quick update, Kill is still in the lead, but the gap has narrowed. Save the Animals is now only $62 and change behind Kill. Oh, wow. All to play for. All right. Great. Keep it up with the donations, everybody. Now we go fast because we just picked up Speed Booster. Yeah. Which is the best item in the game. For sure. Of speed. So some quick farming here. Speed is pretty good in a speed run, I think. Yeah. Generally. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so also one other thing is we're farming health here. Uh, in our reserves for wreck chip, basically. Because wreck chip is very scary and we need a lot of health. Yeah. And it's actually scarier in this route because we pick up a less one E tank less in the late croc versus early crocomire. So Geb has to be really careful about his health here. Or resource management resource management, I should say. Yeah. Yep. Especially in the Hundo run. Up until wreck ship, the, the health management is really important as well as the ammo management. Which we'll see when we get to wreck ship why it's so important. Alright, let's see. Yeah, nice. nice. That's a nice trick. That's a really hard trick. Yeah, to that's actually frame perfect, so it's yeah. really nice. Yeah, it's one of my favorite tricks and the favorite of many. Yeah. <laughs> Bounce right right there. The early game in general doesn't have a, a lot of flashy tricks, um, but that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're picking up a beam that pretty much required. Yeah, it's actually required to progress later in the game. We have to pick up ice because we don't pick up grapple. We'll have to use it for Meridia later on. And you'll, we'll tell you why later on. Right. Right. Nice. Nice. nice, nice, nice ice escape. Really good. There's, there's also one place where you need to get a, like a good mock ball. Yeah, and that jump through the door there is also pretty tight. <laughs> yeah. 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 So now we're going up to uh, wreck chip in a little bit there. Yeah. We're also gonna see our first shine spark. Yeah. yeah. It's one of the things you can do with speed booster. Yes. So it allows Samus to fly in um, several directions, which we'll just see right now. Charge the spark. And there we go. Nice. You can fly all the way across this room. That's it. Pretty good. I got the down back. Nice. Nice. Back up red tower. There we go. So nice with ice. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're through. We're through. <laughs> We're getting it. <laughs> All right. So Gebu's now on his way to collect his first set of power bombs, which actually opens up the yellow doors you've been seeing so far. So after collecting these uh, first pack of power bombs, we are actually able to open every door in the game. So pretty much gives us access to every part right now. That's the song. Hidden behind there, or that's our power bombs, but that's just a missile pack. There's a lot of misses in this category. Yeah. All right. So back to the caterpillar room, also known as the Galen room. Shoutouts to Galen. It's his favorite game, favorite room of the game. All right. Time for uh, another power bomb pack. Another shine spark. And another shine spark. A uh, diagonal one, actually. Yep. So, and as we're making our way up to the elevator here, I think we have time for two quick donations. 
Okay, two quick donations you should have. Um, Zombie Bait has donated $25 without comment. Thank you very much for that. Grey Fox 13 has donated $25, saying shout out to Rakota in the front rows. Uh, yeah. And finally, Finn L has donated $20, saying may I click stare. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Stare. Thanks, guys. All right. We're going to see Gebu set up for a trick here called Ocean Fly. Oh, good. that looks good. Yeah. There we go. Really nice. nice. Really nice. Gets it. So it allows him to spark the whole ocean area. Yep. Just like that. Nice. You want to go over Fantoon? Fantoon, the fi our favorite buddy. It's like the, the the nightmare of every Super Metroid run, I guess. So you might Fantoon recognize him. Might re recognize him from here. I don't know. Shoutouts to Galen. Not sure if it's seen on stream. So, Fantoon is the second boss in the run, obviously. Um, and the thing with Fantoon is, once he appears on screen, he has his eyes closed. And during this time, he can't be damaged until he actually opens his eye. And he will pick one of three patterns, a slow one, a mid one, or a fast one. And the thing with these patterns is they are um, RNG-based. And the timing difference, for example, getting a two-round fast-fast or a two-round slow-slow is 22 seconds. And it's all up to RNG. So, let's hope for a good ghost. It's a little cool uh, speed ball right there. Yep. Mid mid. Mid mid gang in chat. All right. So obviously not a fast. Getting a slow. Getting a slow. Oh, I didn't get quite enough there. Of course, oh, of course, what? the rare pattern. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the chance of that fast happening is actually like 0.3%. So yep. It's incredibly rare. Nice. Nice, really good. Nice fight. All right. I'll take it. Yeah, it's one of those marathon moments yeah. where uh, <laughs> you get the super rare pattern. Oh, didn't get any supers there. That's fine though. Yeah, we're picking up two missile, no, super missile pack here. Yep. Usually, like uh, in a real like PB attempt run, uh, this would be pretty bad, but. Mostly we're uh, worried about health right now. Just want to survive this place. Yeah. So I think it's like two rooms after this. We're coming up against a room called Spiky Room of Death. And it usually lives up to its name because it's really scary. There's platforms in that room and water. So if you actually hit one of those platforms the wrong way, it takes 100 damage. Gebe has a good amount of health now, so he's going to be fine probably, but a lot of runs die in Spiker Room, especially yeah. if you're new. Yeah, it can kill you. Yeah. Lots of runners, especially if you're not experienced. Yeah. The room after this one. All right, nice so I get the bounce right here. Very yeah, cool. perfect. Nice. That's really nice. It's awesome strat. Let's go. Also, another scary thing here, because we don't have grapple, so yeah, but it's gonna have to do a bomb jump to the E tank here. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's gonna live, but that's why it's scary, because you have to, yeah, do this. Let's try it again. Ah. Ooh. It's fine. We have lots it's of health. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. This is fine. Oh. Wait for the water. Nice. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. So yeah, as, as Merklik was mentioning uh, in the beginning of the run, this is um, due to the route differences early and late rock, this is one of the things you actually get in return. Uh, one of the two harder tricks in this route. So yes. That's actually a really hard trick. Though. Especially in marathons on and on paces. Yeah, yeah. Always on paces. Yep. So less scary spiker room of that with the extra E tank, so should be fine. We're actually coming up to the coolest room in this route, or in this uh, category overall. Attic. 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 Because you have to actually kill everything in that room to in, the, in order to open the doors. So let's see. Don't blink your eyes, guys. Nice. Yeah, awesome. Nice. Really nice, really nice. And the speed keep, awesome. And it's yes. immediately followed by the worst room in 100%. Because yeah. you actually have to clip through the next robot here, and it's RNG, pretty much. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that was good. That was yeah, good. Three this, this, yeah. Room, this room is awful, I hate it so much. Didn't go too bad. Nice. Oh. Didn't get the mock ball there through the door, but it's fine. Usually you can clear that ledge if you have a mock ball there. But, or a uh, air ball. Yeah. yeah. All right. Getting the hidden missiles in the sky. Often forgotten item in the casual run, I guess. Yeah. Very out of reach, I guess. Yep. I hate that shot, but it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so in two rooms coming up is a room we call bowling, and you will notice Gebu shooting the floor there. And it kind of seems random, but it isn't, and we'll tell you later on in the room after. But just notice the things he's doing in this room. He's, he's shooting two shots down the floor, and he's laying a power bomb at the end of this section. Well, the one next to this. So. Right. Good. Look good, sound yeah. good. Should be good. We take, could take a few donations yep. here. Brilliant, thank you very much. Um, we've had uh, one from the previous boss, actually. Uh, $10 from Car uh, Carnage Harmony. So there's uh, Dice, Mech, and Gebu, 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 Gebu. Good luck. <laughs> mid, mid was, uh, was, was the bet, I think. <laughs> uh, no Ear for Music has donated $5 saying, how do you pronounce the Metroid jingle when you get an item? Uh, I think it's... The <laughs> 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 anyway, um, CN has donated $25 saying, Good skill, Gebu, towards Kill the Animals. And finally, we have an anonymous $15 no donation that says, Save the kill, frame the animals. <laughs> right. Uh, so there's a quick update on that little bidding war. Um, Kill the Animals is still in the lead now with $315 uh, to save $232. So uh, just over $80 in it. All right. Thanks a lot. So you just noticed the two robots in the room before were in the spiky pits. And there was actually seemingly a missile pack floating around. And that's actually the thing where Gabo shot the two shots. It hit the robots and they actually walk back and fall into the pits. And the power bomb at the end clears the statue holding the missiles. So that's actually good because if you don't get the strat, I think it saves, or it loses like 20 seconds. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, that's close. Yeah, that was cool. That, that speed bar right there is the hardest strat in the game, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Very tight. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it depends. Like, if you don't hit the, the robot on the right, you lose a lot more time than only hitting the left one. Yeah. Or only. Only hitting the right one. So how are we doing on health right now? It's pretty good, right? Uh, yeah. This should be fine. This is where we use our uh, reserve tank in a second here. Nice. Nice. All right, so coming up in the room after this, 
is something called a wraparound shot, which you will see Gebu perform here. And let's see. I got it. So you heard a door open, and that's actually the door that's on the left side of the screen. So the wraparound shot, it kind of wraps the shot around to the other section of the screen. Opening the door here on the left hand side, you will notice as Gebu is sparking through, this door is already open. That's the wraparound shot. Saves loads of time, but you can spark through all these blocks. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah, Gebu went for a really, really hard trick there. It, it's, yeah. it's more flashy than anything. It saves around like seven seconds. Around there. Yeah, I would say. But it's really tight and yeah. Uh, yeah, basically I've, I messed up the easy part, which is just... Uh... Oh, look at nice. this. These quick drops. Nice. This is... Th he makes it look so easy, but yeah. those are really, really difficult. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I messed up the easy part of that trick by just not laying the power bomb in time, but yeah. But you, go you got the cool part. Yeah, yeah. You got the cool yeah, part, yeah. yeah. Or, I mean, but the cool part is the shine yeah, well, spark, I guess, yeah. yeah, I guess. <laughs> I got the hard part. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, chat, we're coming back to Green Brinstar. So you know what time it is. Cat Jam time, Dino Dance time, again for the best music in the game. Just gonna clean up some items here. I see someone in chat asking me what the strat name is called, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Yeah, the strat name has a weird name, I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> Samus Expert Master. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So you're actually in the room after this, you're gonna go see the animal. Or... Edicus. So, yeah, you're gonna see some of the animals. And you're gonna hear their sound and see how annoying they are. So yeah, maybe, maybe think about how you want to donate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just hear them. Just listen to the sound. Is that something we would actually want to keep continue going for? I don't know. Well, actually, we don't know. But. All right. So that power bomb here, that kind of seems random, but obviously it's not. Like every small detail, it actually clears, clears the sound cue, and it's a small time save. So really subtle stuff again, like we mentioned before. Yeah. We're back in this area again, because last time we were here, it was locked by power bombs pretty much every room here. So. Yeah. I was supposed to lay a power bomb right there before I spark up, but of course it doesn't come out somehow. We'll blame Is that also open the... I need to do this very quickly. Okay, it also opens the the door on the right there. Yeah. Nice. Right. Really nice. Yeah. Amazing right. strat. Yeah, and it's called Mission Impossible. <laughs> on the trick. Or strat. Like. So again, small stuff. You see Gabo killing the the enemies here also opening the door because it was a flashing door and if he would not have opened the door he would have needed to kill the enemies again yep, yep. so we'll see if he returns in the room now he can open up the door straight away and actually set up for a really nice de-boost into the next room oh almost yeah that that uh hopper can uh Either jump high or low, so you you don't really know whether it yeah. jump. So it's kind of you have to kind of gamble on when you're supposed to do this there. Yeah, yeah. Commentator curse, as Chad is pointing out. You can blame me, Gabo. It's fine. <laughs> I take full responsibility <laughs> for my actions this round. All right. <laughs> if you insist. All 
Right, so we'll notice the grab these missiles uh, now instead of the first visit we came here because it's actually faster to just get them now. We're waiting for the power bomb to explode. And if we would have gotten them in the first visit, it actually is a small detour. And again, it's only a couple of frames, but still, it's just faster and it's just fine. It's a small optimization. Yeah. yeah. No reason not to do it. So just now, Gebu actually ran violently through two fish here. And one of the fish that's actually um, a specific lore thing in Super Metroid, one of the fish is called Brian, the Brinstar fish. And Brian has a brother, it's called Ryan, and originally they're both from Meridia. And the thing is, uh, Brian wanted to be like a grown-up adult fish. He wanted to make a better life for himself. He moved to Brinstar. I don't know, it might have been a questionable life decision so far. So F in chat for Brian. Yep. And you notice the Gebel laid a power bomb right there. Uh, it's actually, you didn't see the door, but there's an uh, orange door above uh, the screen there that he opens just to, like, or we got to go through there later. Yeah, we go through there way later in the run. Yeah. Buster hold. Hold. Nice. Nice. Really nice. It's a really hard trick. Yeah, I always mess that trick up and run, so I'm glad I got it here. And it's almost all swag, that trick, because it only saves <laughs> around one and a half seconds. But it's really cool. I don't know if it's even that. It's more like half a second, but I have no idea, actually. <laughs> all right. So, coming up to the watery part of the run. Favorite place, Meridia. Starting off with a really cool short charge to grab some missiles here on the ceiling. Nice. nice. Gets his first try, really nice. That's really hard. Yeah. Right. And as we're about to enter Fish Tank, this is actually where Ryan lives. So we will see Ryan in a bit. Gabby was just so fast, you couldn't see him right now, but hold a second, you will see Ryan. Nice, why are there no other fish that have names? Why are there only <laughs> those I don't two? Know. I don't know. It's, it's a work in progress, the unofficial Super Metroid yeah. lore. We're working on the lore book, don't worry. Yeah. We're working awesome. on it. We'll put it on the backlog. Yep. It will be fine. It's Mama Turtle right there. Mama Turtle. Now we will be able to see Ryan. Yeah. Look fast. So on the left hand side, this fish. This is Ryan. So Ryan, I'm sorry, buddy. We have some bad news for you. It's it's about your brother, but I don't know. Gabu's going so fast. We don't we don't even have time to to you know bring him the bad news. But the good thing is you will get the inheritance. But now would be a good time for some more donations, if there are any. Yes, thank you very much. Um, we do have a $50 donation uh, from TR, who says, Good evening from Finland. I wanted to donate because my mother has the evil Alzheimer's disease, but she's still doing quite fine. And of course, I want to save the animals. So... Uh, that has brought Save the Animals slightly closer. Uh, it's now only $315 to $282. So, uh, still, uh, still getting close. Really hard room coming up here. It can be really hard. Because there's the, these flies are like on top of Samus all the time. But yeah, but they did fine. Yeah. If you're fast enough, you can uh, dodge the flies altogether. The flies can be very annoying. <laughs> so yeah, doing some cleanup in, Bri in uh, Meridia right now. Collecting some items left and right. And as you noticed, like, Meridia is a watery section, right? So, a fun fact, the water level in Meridia has actually risen the last couple of years. And you know why? It's because so many runs die in Meridia. It's all salty speedrunner tears just slowly filling up Meridia. So, yeah, it's actually... <laughs> none, none are mine. <laughs> no. Just want to point that out. Yeah. So we're heading towards our favorite snake boss in this game. And we're actually going to utilize a very special feature in this game, which I think most people don't 
know about in their casual playthrough. So if you have just one beam and charge and a power bomb selected, you can do a special beam. And this one we're gonna do is called X Factor. You're gonna see why it's called X Factor in a bit here. Come on, Snake. Right. Nice. Nice. Really nice. Shout out to D called. Yep. It's good. Nice. Yeah, really nice. So now we're heading to our next boss in Meridia called Dragon, our favorite shrimp boss. And it's actually one of the few bosses where you can actually damage her with shine sparks or any boss that can, you can damage with shine sparks. And he's also gonna use the X Factor again to just maximize the amount of damage it does in like one go. Yeah, this fight can be scary because you can randomly die at the end, but we'll see. Probably just jinx myself by saying that. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah, Perfect. really nice. Perfect fight. Nice. And you got the uh, spike suit. Uh, that's a double frame for frame perfect trick. The spike suit. Yeah, you can die to chain damage there. Uh, if you if Dragon has a, a specific amount of health, uh, and your position is specific enough, you can just keep getting chain damage by Dragon forever until you die. And yeah, uh, Gebba got the spike suit, uh, which allows you to store a spark, which he's gonna use right here. There's yeah. another one later that are, uh, we'll have to keep for way longer. Yeah. So now we're enabling ice and spacer again, because uh, the another part of doing this route is you're gonna have to do like a really tough uh, clip through a floor with freezing an enemy in a such a way that like you can jump on top and clip through a floor. A puyo, yeah. Yeah. Nice clip. Nice. Really nice. No soft lock. No, no soft, soft lock. lock. <laughs> you can get stuck in between those locks there. That would never happen to me. Never. Never. Yeah, kind of a staple trick here. Of this route coming up. Good. Yeah, yeah. Nice. nice. First try. Awesome. Yeah. Right. So uh, this is Shack 2. This is like the moment uh, during the run where you can actually think about all the decisions you've made as a speedrunner, you know, during the run, during your whole life. Oh. Regret it. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. Let's get some donations. I can. Uh, I can. I can think about this stuff. <laughs> no worries. Anything to spare you from uh, thinking about things too much? Yep. Uh, we're not. We're not really into thinking here. Um, what <laughs> I will say. Uh, what I will say is uh, thank you very much to uh, Longtown Hampson for the Prime sub. Uh, it's a great time to remind you that um, we're not just uh, taking donations for Outsummer London, but we are also. 
um, accepting other forms, uh, cheers or bits, um, regular subscriptions or gift subs, uh, all those will benefit the charity. All the proceeds will go to Alzheimer Fondant. And the same with Prime subs. If you have um, Amazon Prime, then you have a Twitch Prime sub that you may use. And if it's going unused, lonely, forlorn, then why not use it to sub to the ESA Marathon channel? Uh, you would help out the charity, uh, do a great uh, cause. Um, so please do keep that in mind. We also have a $20 donation from Dirty Mike. He says, amazing runner, amazing comms. Good luck. I would last, like to ask Gebu TC when? <laughs> <laughs> and that went towards kill. Oh, wait. That wasn't for Carl Rod. No, it was yeah. from Mike. All the TC propaganda, right? Yep. I don't know. What are you doing to us, guys? What are you doing to us? Oh, you said GTC? Uh, probably soon. No, TC. TC. I'm just TC. I'm deaf then. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, now we have Spring Ball. Yeah, and Spring Ball allows you to jump while in uh, ball form, which we will see utilized in a couple of different uh, cool strats. So getting the Plasma Beam, strongest beam in the game, followed by a really cool room. Yeah. yeah, really nice. That was very cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's Com a hard room. Yeah, the hard room with ice. <laughs> Commentators curse again. Nah, I'm it's very hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah now that we have a spring ball, uh, space jump, and speed booster, it unlocks a lot of tricks. In this game. Yeah, for instance, a trick called Blue Bomber, which is, I think you're gonna attempt pretty soon here. Yeah. <laughs> which is also pretty scary because it's a soft lock scenario if it goes wrong. Okay. Didn't quite have enough speed there for the quick drop. It's okay. Yeah, thankfully, this. Not, not a high chance of soft locking. Yeah. But it could happen, I guess. Oh. Had to back that up with a short nice charge there. That's a really, really fast backup. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. You need to have those backups, man. Yep. It's, uh, it comes in handy once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, as you might have noticed, the thing why Meridia section of the game is so hard and may lose so much time is that we're actually circling around, you know, like collecting items, unlocking another part of the game, collecting more items. So it's a relatively long section. And like Gabu said uh, in the beginning of the run, like small mistakes add up, obviously. That's why it's such a such a hard segment. Yeah. We explain mood falling, right? You move fall through the sand right there. Yeah. You kind of wiggle around to fall faster. Works a little bit different than normal mood falls just because of the sand physics. All right. Nice. Nice. Double D boost. We're finally out of Meridia soon, anyway. Or, yeah. And we forgot to pick up an item earlier, so we're going to go back into Crate's Lair a little bit here. Yep. Just not the entire way, but a little bit. Yeah, there's a little missile tank right here. That we couldn't pick up the first time around. Yeah. Also, a small little detail. When he entered the room, you actually noticed Gabu did a shot downwards to already open the door. Yep. Small stuff adds up. You can just, just jump through. All right through. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a variant of this uh, of uh, this category that gets those missiles very much earlier in the game because you go up, go up red tower and get your power bombs and then back down here. Yeah, it's about the same time wise. So yeah, just a preference thing. Yeah. Nice. Really good. That jump is kind of tight because you have so much speed and you have like a couple of frames to press jump there. Yeah. Otherwise, you just fall through this entire room pretty much. Yeah, that room can go very, very wrong. Yeah. Right, some nice space jumping coming up here. And a really cool D-boost as well. Oh, it's good. Really, really good. Nice. Probably do some donations right here. Yep. All right. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Shida, Blue, Husky, Muffin, and Kevin Nola for the prime subs, uh, which has given us a hype train. Uh, so uh, great chance to uh, also support the stream and the charity at the same time. And Drunk Bug similarly for the bits. Uh, we also have two donations. Uh, one from Carl Rod, donating twelve dollars and forty-four cents. Uh, saying good luck, Gap. Also, you missed a tile. <laughs> there, it is. there it is. Yeah, there it is. And Garster Carl has donated fifteen dollars, saying I think you missed some missiles. Joking, but because you did, you can save the animals. Who needs frames? Have a nice run. And that's uh, brought save the animals slightly closer. Kill is still winning at three thirty-five dollars, uh, but save is at two hundred and ninety-seven. So uh, still nipping very much at the heels. Oh, and we've just got uh, the signal gifting 10 tier 1 gift starts to the community. Thank you so much. Uh, again, all of that is going to a fantastic cause. Nice. Back to you guys. You can fall down those uh, crumble blocks right there before you grab the missiles. It's very bad. Yeah. You lose a lot of time. And here's Bomb Teresa's brother, Golden Teresa. We make pretty quick work of him. Also, same method. If you stand on a specific tile, a tile set, he actually gets stun locked into the corner. Just shoot him with some plasma beams, and that's it. Easy fight. I have zero power bounds there. I hope I get some right. <laughs> okay, that's really fine. Right. Open the door. And get the screw attack. Good item. Yeah, really good item. As long as you have a, it's one of the parts of the run where you need a couple of power bombs to progress. Yeah. Yeah. Nice knife. That gate is really hard to hit with a super, so very well done. Thanks. Nice pillar spark. Let's go. Want to talk about worst room dice? <laughs> I want to. I want to talk about worst. Room. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, we'll skip it then. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, this was just worst room in the game. Um, in most of the categories, it's actually the worst room in the game. Um, apart from being it, uh, from being pretty difficult, it's so it also lags a lot. But it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty uh, not not a issue in Hando. No. Yeah. Because yeah. screw tech, space jump, easy. Just get through it. Start there. And dice, actually, this is the best music in the game. Just saying. <laughs> it's a, it's a good runner-up. I agree. I agree. <laughs> All right, on our way to Wasteland. Yeah. Just gonna grab the power bombs of shame here first. Yeah, we have to, unfortunately. 
But they're even called the Power Bones of Shame in Hondo, right? Yep. I saw what you called that. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, in any percent, uh, I guess you can explain it, Mark. Yeah, so in any percent, you don't. You could be short on power bombs here. So sometimes we refer to the, those power bombs as power bombs of shame. Because we sometimes have to get them just to progress further into the run. Yep. Very cool. Nice. It's really nice trick. Yeah. There. Awesome. Third boss. Third boss. Or, uh, there he is again, Ridley. Oh, awesome fight, awesome. Very good, Very good fight. I missed one super there, the two. Just Ridley being kind of off screen, but that's fine. Reset. <laughs> yeah, we really should, honestly. All right, so that's the last boss of the uh, of the four bosses of the game cleared up. Uh, now might be a good time for any donations, if there are any. Thanks very much. Uh, I just want to say thank you very much to uh, uh, Corey to mask for the 100 uh, cheers, the uh, Johnson C for similarly 100 cheers, uh, it's trigger for using their prime sub and. Sio Soats donated, uh, brought in 49 gift subs to the channel. So, uh, huge, uh, huge thanks out to the support to the channel. Um, as I said, um, all of the revenue from that goes straight to our time of London. If you have received a gift sub, why not pop in a quick thank you to Sio Soats? Uh, it's only polite and maybe pay it forward. Uh, but uh, yeah, otherwise, please do keep on supporting the cause. Thank you all so much. Nice. Ooh, I got the full spell. Thanks, man. Are we just collecting things here? Le leaving going yep. over. But we have some cool strats coming up here. For instance, this room has a really cool strat. Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll see if that works. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah. It's sorry, I'm uh, commentator's curse. I'm sorry. <laughs> so good. We can just wall jump off it. Oh. Good backup. Oh, yeah. Really good. Mm, I don't know about this one. They got too much speed right there. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, nice. Got it. Hoto Ruby special. Yeah. A half Hoto Ruby special. Kinda. Yeah, kinda. Discount version. <laughs> Discount, yeah. Auto Ruby regular? Yeah. <laughs> Let's call it that. <laughs> Alright. So, on our way to collect the last item in Lower Norfair. So many missiles. Yep. Everywhere. And that's it. Yep. Leaving lower Norfair. It's a very scary section in any percent, but we kind of just, you know. Yeah, we cruise in uh, under percent. We cruise in. Oh, nice D boost. Uh, don't get me wrong, though. Uh, all these rooms are insanely hard to do fast. Uh, yeah, I, I, we were just talking about pure yeah. survival. This this run is very hard when you get to like the upper level of the leaderboards. To be honest, this game is really hard for any level. It's just a yep. difficult game. Yeah, yeah, but it's really cool. Yeah, rewarding. And Gabu makes it seem so easy, but I can assure you, it's it's not. So awesome room coming up. Is 
door, man. Yeah, nice. really nice, really nice room. One of my favorite rooms. Oh. Got the Divas back, nice. That's very good. Good room. Yeah, and we're about to see why we save Croco Mario. Left. Normally I wouldn't do this strat with this uh, low super count, but I really wanted to show it off because it's also one of my favorites. Yeah, the Divas is really cool looking. Yeah. Right, so here's Krokomire. Right chat, say hi Krok. Hi Krok. Hi Krok. <laughs> <laughs> so usually when uh, in early croc, you have to like. Uh, I don't know how many shots it is. How, sh how many shots it is, but it's a lot. And it's very RNG based fight, so. With plasma, you kinda change damage uh, croc, so you just take one charge shot and he's pretty much dead. Let's see. Okay, get this here. One more time. Ah, it's fine. Yeah. He tried to get a spike suitor, because. And to be honest, I think it's better. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe. I'm just kidding. But yeah, we can get a spike suitor and carry it all the way to X ray and spark across a really, really long uh, vertical room. Oh. Or horizontal room, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> but it saves like six seconds, I think. Yeah, it's another one of the staple tricks of this uh, late croc route. Yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately I couldn't get it right there. It's fine. Another log moon fall here. Saves a lot of time. We're about to collect the final items in this part of the area. It's, uh, Indiana Jones. I think I bounced right here, so I'm... Okay. I thought I bounced through the door there and you just like bounced all the way up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. In the room. That's a spring ball. Yeah. yeah. So now we have grapple, also known as forum beam or door open beam sometimes. Nice super. Yeah, you can farm with it. Yeah. That's an open door, sis. For excited. For the match. What do you think? Even more missiles. <laughs> yep. We're not done. Guys, how many missiles are there? 230. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I think there's like at least three or four packs left. I didn't count, but. Yeah, gotta find these two packs right here for supers. Yeah, supers is like a really important uh, resource in this category, or in most categories, but. You can see that uh, Gebus missile count is very high, and because missiles are pre pretty much useless in a, like a speed run at this point. At we need them to get out of this room too. Yeah. Yeah, supers in the late game in general is very, very. Uh, it's pretty right. important because it, yeah, it's precious because it saves a lot of time in just like so many different places, basically. Yeah. The more you have, the better. I think we have time for some messages. Brilliant, thank you very much. Uh, thank you to Azu, Azu Chang for 70 cheers and Kuton for 50 cheers, as well as Tempest Mark 1000 for the gift stuff. Uh, we have a couple of donations. Uh, Ally has sent $10 saying, love the event. Uh, and we love you, Ally. Thank you very much for the donation. And One Hats has donated $10 saying, 
I'm going to be helping Carl Rod here and say it's only 100% if we have a tiny pixel flying away in the sky at the end, which has gone <laughs> towards Save the Animals, uh, which means that the uh, Save the Animals is still behind on $307.71 to kills $335. Um, but I feel like we're getting up to time. So do you want to tell the uh, audience how long we have to uh, settle the score? Uh, about like uh, 10 minutes, yeah, perhaps, yeah, up to 15. All right, so get your donations in soon if you want to uh, either save the animals or if you want to secure the win for Cure because it could easily go either way. So through that shaft right there is usually where we'd uh, use that spike suit Yeah, talked about earlier. Get it. X-ray beam. You know what's the best part of Hundo? You actually can hear the best music in the game three times. We don't miss it low enough for three times. <laughs> I have, no, I have no opinion on this matter. <laughs> so we're cleaning up some uh, stuff here. We've been here before, but we couldn't reach the places we're going right now. Yeah, kind of messed up my equip there. Probably one of the most hardest, hardest segments in the game. Yeah. For sure. This, this section in general is very hard because there's just a lot of tight spaces everywhere. So, coming up is a room called Billy Maze. Just in a second. You know why it's called Billy Maze, Merc? Please explain to me, Dice. <laughs> You don't only get one missile pack in this room, you get two for the price of one. But wait, there's more. There it is. <laughs> there really are. There really are. So right on this one. <laughs> Four missiles. Speedball here. Yep. And you can actually like store a spark up an elevator. It doesn't run out or anything. It can just spark when you come up here. Yeah. It passes the timer. Yeah. The elevator. Nice. If you're watching, can you please do the time supers emote? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cleaning up the last couple items there before we at the Turian. So now we're actually going for our last missiles. Final. Final item in the game. Yep. yep. The final missiles. It's actually really hard to get that knock ball. It requires a specific jump in through the door. Yeah. Yeah, so we're about to uh, enter the G4 room right here. Uh, 
wait for the final area of the game, so you can just go ahead and read whatever donations yeah, they thank have. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, cheers to Liquid Squid for the 100 cheers. Uh, my vacation at Brinstar has donated $5 with the message, I hope none of you voting kill have ever been pet owners. Uh, I think some of, some of you might be getting called out there. That went to save the animals. So uh, closing the gap ever so slightly. $312.71 for save. $335 for kill. Uh, only $22 and change in it. Keep in common. Oh, it's now 71 cents in it. Uh, Rakoja has just donated $23. Here's to making it a split decision, which means, <laughs> which means it is now $335 for kill, and for save it is $335 and 71 cents. We are currently saving the animals. Oh God. Oh God. All right, Turian, very. Very technical. Probably the the hardest part of this run, honestly, is Turian. Just had a number 40 come in for save from Philly uh, Fash, saying let's the Gebu go a little slower. $40. There we go, Philly. I got you. Oh, well. We grab those supers. Oh well. Oh, you're fine. You have it's pistols. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. All right, baby skip time. Yeah. Duke skip. Yeah, we're gonna do a spring ball skip here. Let's see if I can get it. Nice. Oh, really nice. Awesome. So I didn't want to say anything before I get got it, <laughs> but it actually saves around 30 to 40 seconds to do, get that. Because it's a, like a scripted cutscene almost. Yeah. That the baby grabs you and uh, drains all your health and then you got to refill and yeah, it wastes a lot of time. Especially in hand though, because you have a lot of E-Tanks. Yep. It's a bit drained. A little back up here. Yeah, it's, it's something. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very awkward having uh, low super missiles here. Unfortunately, I got kind of unlucky from the Metroids. But it's fine, we can just go slowly with our huge amount of missiles. Is that. We're at Mother Brain now. The final boss of the game. And then this category is kind of trivial to do. At least the first phase of the fight. The second phase is not that easy. It requires 20 shard shots here. To end the first phase. And you see Gebu damaging down here. That's because he wants to do something called uh, a stand-up glitch, which you can only do if you have 700 health or more. Uh, and usually here, uh, Samus would just be kneeling on the ground and sit there and watch a very long cutscene, but Gebu is going to be able to attack the Brain while the cutscene is happening pretty soon here. So we are getting really close now to uh, deciding the fate of the animals. So if there is any donation left, chat, let's get them in now. Choose whether you want to save or kill the animals. So this, 
would usually not be possible in like any percent, but in Hondo we can do this. There's a lot. There's a lot to this uh, just yeah. stand-up uh, glitch in general. There's, yeah, there's so much. So hard to explain. Yeah. Uh, that was a pretty decent stand-up, I would say. Yep. All right. So can we get the results on the save versus kill incentive now, please? Okay, we are just closing it now and doing a final refresh. And we are saving the animals. $385.71 for save, $335 flat for kill. Thank you so much. Uh, that's, yeah, I mean, just uh, <laughs> so much uh, money there. $720.71. Um, uh, so for, for our summer fund on, on this. So thanks for donating, everybody. Yeah, yeah. amazing work, everyone. We had a uh, final donation of uh, $10 from Nautilus, Nautilus Maximus. Uh, no comment, but uh, just uh, helped save get us slightly further ahead at the end. Yeah. Time to release the animals. I guess we have to do it. Yep. What have you done, ESA? What have you done? <laughs> there they are. Just look at look at them. Happy fellas. Yeah. Happy fellas. <laughs> All right. Almost there. Final stretch. Come on, Gabu. And time. Thank you, everybody. Well played, Gabriel. Well, thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, the credits are all there. Uh, I want to give a shout out to. Uh, if you want more of Fundo, there will be a 100% tournament happening in August. Uh, it's going to be in a couple of days. On the 5th is where the qualifiers start. Uh, it'll be on uh, the Speed Gaming Twitch channel. So. The, the current world record holder, Shiny Sunny, is organizing that. So, shout out. Yep. If you want more handle, all the top runners will be joining. And also the worst runners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You guys have any shout outs? Yeah, I want to shout out you and ESA for having us. Yeah, same. Thanks everyone who donated, everyone back home watching, uh, audience obviously here. ESA for organizing everything, pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. So as we wait for the credits to end, to actually verify, uh, Gabu got all 100 items. Cool. Maybe are there some last messages? Yeah, no, while that's happening, um, I will confirm. Thank you, everyone, again. Uh, over $720 raised on the, the age-old question of save or kill the animals. Um, well, let's face it, we're either saving the animals or we're saving the frames. And we chose the animals this time uh, because we are just good people inside. Uh, thanks very much to DDR Jake for the 100 cheers, Mogsway for the 500 cheers, and Joe for the very nice 690 cheers. Uh, much appreciated. Coming up next, we will be having uh, Apollo, uh, tw uh, Apollo 222.37, who is giving us a lovely competition showcase of Mario Battle Royale. Uh, very exciting stuff. Uh, we do also have uh, a last bit donation, $5 from Behemoth, saying, congratulations, Gebs, well done. Thanks, Ben. I <laughs> uh, couldn't agree more. 
Um, yeah, this is ESA Summer 23. We are raising money for Alzheimer Fondant. Uh, we have raised over $63,000 already. Uh, we do have a uh, upcoming showcase uh, with uh, Mario Battle Royale. Uh, we've also got an upcoming milestone. If we can raise $80,000 uh, by 5 p.m. local time tomorrow, you can see that we're currently at uh, uh, 20 to midnight, uh, then we will have yet another round of the Milestone Madness. Paulista is making his comeback. Can it continue? I mean, we'll need some donations to find out. So please do get those in. And uh, once again, thank you everyone for the support you've shown in the stream so far. Any final words while we uh, await our results? Also, huge uh, shout outs to Robo, obviously, for reading. Thank you very much. You're a true gentleman. <laughs> Get ready Dear for Dear Force. Yep. Dear, Dear Force. Force! And yeah, we're just waiting to, to see the item percentage here. Did we get all the items? Or did we have to do this all over, all over again? Okay. There it is. GG's Gap. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for having me, ESA. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, thank you very much, Gaps. One more time for Gaps.